Welcome back to Ag Week TV. In the current administration, ag is a big talking point right now in the region and the entire country. Whether it's corn and renewable fuel standards, the proposed tariffs on soybeans, or U.S. trading partnerships, there's no shortage of concerned folks. Joining us to add some insight into these and other topics is Ed Schaefer, the former governor of North Dakota and former U.S. Ag Secretary in 2008 and 2009. You have some insights into these concerns and uh, maybe some opinions. What's your take on the current tariff situation? The, t the tariffs are very complex, very difficult, and very interwoven with, with uh, products and services. And so it's very difficult to say, well, I'm going to do this over in this place, and then something will pop up in um, response in another area. So I think people are concerned. We don't know what's going on. Uh, it's a difficult situation. But, um, you know, it's going to unfold how it's going to unfold because uh, we've, we've had the sabers drawn and we're in the, in the arena trying to talk it out right now. Now shifting to trade, there's been a lot of talk about what's going to happen with NAFTA and now going back into the TPP. Any predictions about what may happen there? As we look at these trade agreements, and I've been there, I've been at the table, uh, I've talked about, uh, I've talked with other countries about trade and especially with agriculture trade. I think it's important to kind of remain in a positive sense uh, with a balance. Um, the United States has the best, the safest, least costly food supply in the world. Other countries are desiring of that. And we have, we, we can negotiate from a position of strength. I think we can work these out. I'm very confident that, that our position in the global trade today is a lot being driven by agriculture, and agriculture will win in the end. Thinking back to the Russian grain embargo of 1979-80, it didn't last very long, but in that uh, time period, Russians found other places to source their grain, and they started growing their own. And the argument that could be made that we never really recovered from that, is that a fair analogy to what could be happening here now? I think it is a fair analogy, uh, and what it points to is the long-term aspects of what seemingly are short-term conversations. And in that case, you know, it took forever uh, to get back into the world global grain market uh, for the United States. And as you mentioned, when, when you do, other sources are take place. We have the same situation with soybeans today. We are covered um, by the central directive from China um, saying we're going to concentrate on wheat and corn and we're going to buy soybeans. Um, so they're kind of dependent on that import market for themselves right now, but they also have, have been urging farmers to plant soybeans and to provide a, a food security situation for their own country. That changes rapidly our ability to compete. And we don't want to give up any sales now and we don't want to give up any sales in the future. What we do at the negotiating table for trade affects that dramatically and that's why people are concerned. It's a very difficult situation and the worry now is uh, what the long-term ramifications or effects are if you do this. Very good, thank you very much. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. Former U.S. Ag Secretary and North Dakota Governor Ed Schaefer.